Hi, and thank you very much for watching. So I've just done an Instagram Live today, hoping I could share it and put it into my IGTV, and I can't, so here we go again. So my name's Sharon Crowley, if you've not seen me before, and today I just wanna to talk to you about what to do when your head is having a wobble. So this doesn't mean literally, because if there's something wrong, you will need to go to the hospital. But this is something where maybe you're not sure of what you're doing, why you're doing, where you should be going, you know, that kind of like head's going in a wobble, really don't know. So I fully understand. And the reason I do is because it's happened to me recently, just not being clear about my vision, my path, um, being ever so confused. And these are the four steps that I've taken that are helping me get back on track. So the first thing to do when your head is having a wobble is take some time out. You still can't continue to do what you're doing because you might be posting a positive quote uh, when you're really not feeling the love and then you start to feel like a fake and then that really does um, help your mind embrace you know the confusion that you're in so take some time out you know if you need to have a good cry have some pamper time eat chocolate whatever works for you but take some time out and rethink you know what is it you're doing where is it you want to go do some journaling maybe excuse me the second thing uh, you want to be doing is to stop talking yourself down it happens to us all you've got an angel on one shoulder the satan on the other you can't you can you can't you can't you can't and the more you let that negative with negative words satan talk to yourself you're going to believe it now one thing i do believe in is it really doesn't matter how many times you fall off the wagon it's how quickly you jump back on so you can have down days rubbish days um but just keep jumping back on and it will get easier so try and let that angel win lots of positive affirmations you know try and not think i can't it's not working two i can i can i will i will it's going to work okay because the more you say that to yourself the more you start to believe it the more it will happen the third one is to maybe talk to someone and this could be someone that you're close to or somebody who's a stranger. Now, I personally feel it's better to talk to a stranger because for me, I don't feel like I'm getting judged. I don't feel that that person won't say will remember it. But sometimes when I talk to, say, my husband or a very good friend, you know, they'll remember that next time we have a conversation. So quite recently, I've been quite open and frank to two complete strangers who are now no longer strangers. But it helped me be really honest. Um, I didn't hold anything back, which is, the I think, the first time I've done that in a very long time. And I felt so free. And I did have a good cry. But it was good. So, you know, if that's something you want to consider, you know, do that and do let me know if you've done this before if you've spoken to uh, a stranger about something um you know you don't have to tell me what but did it work for you uh, and the final one is what we always say is go back into personal development you know start to surround yourself with positive people with successful people that are in your niche or have achieved something that you want to achieve it's not all about uh, business this it's about uh, your goals, what it is you want to do. So surround yourself by people, read what they're doing, uh, read some great um, mindset books and just delve into it because you really will come out the other end. Um, and if you're watching this and you're not sure what books to read, you know, I've, I've read quite a few. I'm on a path to read some more and I've got a list of more to read. Uh, so please do feel free to reach out to me if you're not sure where which books to read and I'll help you with that. But thanks for tuning in and I'll see you a lot more on Instagram.